Hi Aquarius, welcome to your March uh, monthly reading. <clears throat> Hope you guys are all doing well. I just want to say thank you for everyone who's liked and subscribed to my channel and welcome back. I pulled an overall uh, influencing card for the month of March and you got the magician. And overall the magician just talks about, you know, manifesting something in your life and or having all the tools in your belt or your arsenal to accomplish a set goal or a feat that you might have um, going on in your lives. So whether this is in your relationship sector or your work sector, and you guys are just trying to manifest something in your life, that could be going on. It's also said to be the card of a manipulator, or maybe you're trying to manipulate a situation to work out on your behalf for your benefit. That could also be what's going on. We're going to find out, and we're going to see as we pull all the cards out for um, the month of March, we're going to see what you got going on. The first three cards, I pu usually pull nine cards. The first three cards for me are typically the beginning of the month, the center three cards are the middle of the month and the last three cards are at the end of the month and then I'll go down in a vertical position to see if um, there's any other additional messages for you guys because usually they do line up they usually do and right off the bat I do see that you have a lot of burdens and responsibilities on your plate oh a lot a lot you're, you're carrying a heavy load it looks like you've been making a lot of sacrifices to Sagittarius. Interesting. I'll just move this guy over here for a minute. So I can pull these cards down for you. Alright, two more cards. Universe, Angel, Spirit, Guides for Team Aquarius. What do we have for Team Aquarius? Yeah, you, you guys are exhausted and you're needing to actually physically heal yourself, whether that means taking a vacation, taking a break, doing something, you, you're, you're needing to um, heal from a certain situation. Let's just give me a moment for, just give me a moment, please, so I can see what we got going on here. Moving a bunch of crystals. Okay, Aquarius. In the beginning of the month, you have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands talks about heavy burdens, a heavy load, having sacrifice for certain things going on in your life, whether that's work or your relationship. You have taken on a certain amount of responsibilities onto your shoulder, and now it's starting to physically take a toll on you. Justice is stepping in. This You could be dealing with a Libra or somebody in the legal world. You yourself could be a lawyer because I feel that intensely with some of you Aquarians, um, or you are just dealing with a Libra person or somebody that works in the legal system. This can also be the law or uh, contracts and things of that nature. You could also be a lawyer and you have like a heavy duty workload or work cases and some of them need to be offloaded. High Priestess. This is the season of Pisces, March. So this in itself is the, the card of a Pisces. And this is just you trying to use your intuition on how to help best help, you know, um, help you navigate through whatever it is that you're going through March. This is probably also why this is influencing you. The card of manifesting, you know, trying to create something for yourselves. So you've taken on a lot of burdens. And now you're trying to use... Um, I'm hearing using the legal system and your intuition on a help navigate, manifest what this thing is that you're needing to do. You're about in the middle of the month, middle of March, you have the Fool, which talks about new journeys. Just taking a, a risk, jumping into the unknown, going, taking a dive into the universal abyss. I call this the universal abyss right here. But for me... From all my decks, I almost feel like this specific deck, the Light Seer deck, the Fool in this card, you know, it's like jumping off a cliff. You don't know where you're going to fall, right? You could fall off the cliff and just die, um, whatever. Or you can jump and land on, like, clouds, and it'll lift you up, and then it brings you to newer heights of certain things. In this deck, I always feel like it's very possible. Uh, um, positive and optimistic and that you're jumping into the hands of God and that they're going to lift you up. 
I've always felt like it was a good omen for me, the Fool, in, specifically in this deck. Now, dead center in the center of your reading, you have the Moon, another card of Pisces. This talks about secrets, things that are going on behind your back, things that are not illuminated to you right at the moment. Next to that, and because of that, you also have the Ten of Wands, which is the burdens, the heavy load that you're lifting. You're lifting other people's responsibilities, too, I'm hearing. And you're making excuses for them, Aquarius, also what I'm hearing. You're like, that's okay, I love them, that's okay, they're my friend, that's okay, It's I can handle it, or I can manage it, because I know this best. You've overloaded yourself, Aquarius. you just gotten to the point where it, it it's like at its limit. At the end of the month, you have the Three of Wands. Now you are truly focusing on your future. You truly are trying to um, pick the road for you where you're going to see your ships come in. So you're taking one of these rods and you're like, this is this is the path we're going to go down and this is the road I want to fix. And, you know, I found my person, I found my job, I found my career. So now I'm ready to go and build on that foundation for my future. You're manifesting. You're also healing. And I think this is more or less physically. You've just been exhausted trying to manifest whatever that it is that you've been trying to manifest. Whether it's relationship, family issues, or work-related. Guys, I know this is very general, but there's so many of you Aquarians out there that I'm trying to catch everyone's energy out there. <clears throat> We're going to clarify. We're going to do a deep dive. Then the story is going to uh, fine-tune, and we'll see who this specifically is for. At the end of the reading, we have the King of Wands. So you are dealing with a... Divine Masculine, very much Aquarius, I'm sorry, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, who is in your life. Now I'm going to go down in the vertical position to see if there's any more messages that align with each other. At the beginning of the month, we have this physical exhaustion being burdened. In the center of the reading, in the center of the month, you have the Fool taking a new journey because you know that these wands are not sustainable. You drive down your nine wands to three, and you whittle it down, and you consolidate, and you say to yourself, okay, I'm consolidating now. This is where I want to go, and this is who I want to do it with. And these are the friends I want to have. Justice. Dealing with the legal system and or justice being applied within your situation. Libra. Pisces. Secrets that are not illuminated to you. Things that you are unaware of. Things that are hidden that are behind your back. And you, at the end of the month, having to deal with it and healing from it, whether it's all these, you know, responsibilities that you put on yourselves or the exhaustion of dealing with this certain case. You know, maybe you are dealing with something that's illegal and because you're not aware of what the other side has on you or what they're trying to do or what they're trying to say about you, it's physically exhausted you. Mentally, the mental part has made you physically now exhausted. And this is why you're now, you're forced to use your gut, your intuition. At the beginning of the month, you're being burdened. You're exhausted. It's taking its toll. At the end of the month, I think that this has something to do with a fire sign in your life. Whether this is marriage or divorce or legal proceedings with a fire sign individual and or somebody that you could be living with. Maybe you're drawing up contracts to buy a house. Maybe you're buying something together. It's something along those lines, um, Aquarians. Universe, Angel, Spirit, Guides. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Please clarify the Nine of Wands. Law, legal. I'm also hearing some of you are dealing with, like, um, anyone that's dealing with divorce or marriage or, uh, child support or uh, passport information or licenses or visa, things like that where you need to hire a lawyer or you need a lawyer, you need contracts. I'm hearing something along those lines too. Guys, all these fell out. I'm not taking them. I have a rule. It's three and under. Five cards. It's just confusion. Universe Angel Spirit Guides, please give us more clarity in these readings. Why is the Nine of Wands? Please clarify the Nine of Wands. Please spit out or I take the top card. One or two cards max, please. Nine of one plus nine of one, sir. Please clarify nine of ones. Your 
you're dealing with a force of um, somebody else that's an immature force. They're exciting and they're like a little kid to you. And, you know, they could be an adult that you're dealing with. Don't get me wrong. Or you are literally dealing with a child, a fire sign child, which is an Aries Leo Sagittarius. So Aquarius, you could be dealing with a fire sign child and or and they're they're the ones that have added you know extra responsibilities onto your plate maybe you're dating somebody who has a child and now they've become your responsibility or like i said before child support here they are you know maybe you're adopting a child boom here they are i told you the stories were going to get a little bit more defined this could be also you dealing with an, another adult that you know is very immature but you know, you're just dealing with it. So you're basically, what's the word I'm looking for? You're, you're allowing their bullshit <laughs> that they should be taking care of onto your plate. You're, you're allowing this endorsement to go on, Aquarius. You shouldn't. You're like, it's okay. I love them. So it's fine. I'll do it. For the other group of yous, you're, you are dealing with a child and something to do with the law regarding the child. Because now we're going to clarify uh, justice. So let's see. You're enabling. That's the word I was looking for. You're enabling this behavior. You know, it's because you think because it's not coming out of maliciousness. It's not coming from a place of being malicious. They're just excited and they just don't know better. So you're just taking care. Don't enable. You're exhausted. I see it here. You're mentally, physically exhausted. Universe, angel, spirit guides. Why is justice here, please? Okay. For me, usually this means deceit. It was upside down, right? I, I, it doesn't matter. The message is the same for me because I'm an intuitive, so I'm relaying messages. Now, I told you that the justice system is coming in to balance the scales of something. Usually this is betrayal, this is deceit, or somebody having betrayed you. And this is pretty much for me something that had recently happened or it's in the past. Now, that could be that could be applicable. So now, like I said before, because of this deceit or betrayal, some of you are getting a divorce. Now the other group of you. I'm sensing that you're, before I was telling you, you're physically exhausted, you're physically tired. I felt my back go like this a little bit. So some of you are actually having physical problems with your back. Like you might need back surgery is what I'm hearing. Because... <laughs> It's like this, this ox over here with all these baggages, broken back, I heard before, broken back. And like you're fit and you have two cards of physical exhaustion that I think some of you are actually physically going to get back surgery or there's something wrong with your back or you need some kind of therapy, but it's affecting your back and it's really hurting you. Others of you, this is just you doing legal proceedings from, from some kind of betrayal or some sort of deceit. So it could be a divorce and you're just dealing with the aftermath now. Cause to me, this is like aftermath, you know, maybe you are just, uh, um, dealing with a child too, where you're in a legal battle or legal custody with a parent and they're, they're just trying to deceive or, you know, deceive the system. Sorry guys, excuse me one second. My lipstick was crudding up and it was like annoying me. Gross. Sorry, TMI. But anyway, the high priestess. <laughs> Why is the high priestess here? Please clarify the high priestess for us. Dude, yeah. You're you're like legit needing to heal. So you're using your intuition to figure out what the fuck is all of this and how you're going to manage all of this. Because I keep hearing managing. And you're. this is the card of healing. So you're internally trying to heal yourself, whether it's mentally or physically or even emotionally. You've got this whole combo going on, Aquarius, where you're needing to heal. You're exhausted. You've burnt the candle on every which way end. And if there was a wick in the center of the candle, that's also burning. The fool. Why is the fool here? Please clarify the fool. Please clarify the fool. If there was two contradicting cards to be applied to one another. When I told you before, this is the new journey, embarking on something new, and you got the hangman in reverse. If this was upright, it would be that contradiction I was talking about. Um, but it doesn't even matter if it was upright or upside down. I read them intuitively. 
two ways this could be read. You're getting down from that stuck position and you're saying, I'm just, fuck it, I'm going to go. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to jump into the universal bisque and see what happens. You know what? It's fine. I'm going to throw spaghetti up against the wall and see what sticks. I'm going to try this new journey. I'm out. I'm checking out and I'm doing this whole new thing. Also, you are just looking at things now in a different perspective. You're done being up in here. That's why you had the high priestess in your intuition. So you're looking at things in a different perspective, in a different type of light. That's why you're taking this risk. This is what is. This is just telling me why you're doing this. You're doing this because you're thinking about it in a different type of way, in an unorthodox type of way. Why is the moon here? Please clarify the moon. What is this here? What is these secrets? What is the illumination? What's going on? Please clarify the moon. Please pop out for us. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Please pop out or I take the top card. Why is the moon here? Please clarify the moon. Thank you. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Sorry, my nose is itchy. Luck is definitely on your side. Because this is your wheels of luck turning in your favor and the chariot moving forward in a direction with uh, foresight and what you need to do and what you want to do. You know, regardless of you not knowing all the information that's applicable, you don't care. That's why you're taking the risk. That's why you're taking the plunge over the hill and you're saying, fuck it, I'm going to take a risk and go for it. Even if I don't have all the information, I'm still going to move forward. I don't give a shit. I'll take the good and the bad all together and I'm going to go. And I'm, regardless if I don't know, if I, I, if I don't have all the information. And it's a good thing you do that because the universe has your back. They're totally got your back. Ten of Wands. Please clarify Ten of Wands. Okay. Archangel Michael. So maybe this person is also a Sagittarius because this is the card of Sagittarius. But this is also Archangel Michael stepping into your life to restore balance. You have two cards of balance now. Justice is another card of balance. Balancing scales. You know, one foot is in the water and one foot is on earth. When we say these things, the, the, the foot on earth is something that's in a 3D realm. What does that mean? A relationship is 3D. It's it's something that's tangible. A job is 3D. It's something you're doing and it's here on earth. It's tangible. Something that you're feeling isn't. Something that you're thinking isn't. Something that's 5D, which is spiritual, that isn't. That's not 3D. That's not here on earth that you're living in this soul in this lifetime. So when your universal angels ascend down and they cover you to help you, it is because they're trying to steer you course correct you onto your true north as you go through the pinwheel of life which is the journey of your life to get to the center which is your true north your true happiness they're going to come here and restore the balance and course correct you because they see this long winding road that you've done and they've seen all the work you have done and they see you're exhausted and they see that you're giving you know there's one thing about Aquarians they say that you guys are like robots but it's not the case you guys are definitely the the humanitarians of the zodiac you you're willing to do all of this you're willing to take on the sacrifices you're willing to take on the burdens you don't care and archangel michael sees that and they're like you know what we need to reward you because that is what you're vibrating out to the universe to the gods and they are why they are ascending you and they're coming here to flap their wings around you and cover you and protect you this is more or less why you have the wheel of fortune where the luck is turning in your favor they see what you're doing aquarius three of wands consolidating power strength and fine-tuning your future your future plans. Why is three of wands here? Please pop out. Thank you. Interesting. King of wands, knight of wands, and page of pentacles all in reverse. So let's do this. Okay, so earlier, you're definitely dealing with somebody that is either your age or younger. That's a fire sign. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. 
and they're coming in the reverse position. So this cat, there's like the two camps that I told you before. You have an adult fire sign in your midst that is acting quite immature and it's taxing you. It's burdening you. They're adding this extra grief and bullshit in your life that you're just managing. And you're, you're trying to juggle it all and, and it's getting exhausting, physically exhausting. There's some sort of betrayal for some of you Aquarians that they've done for you in the past and now it's rearing its ugly head and you know, you're still trying to heal from that scenario. There's also now, some of you who have to teach this child that's a fire sign individual a new sense of being. So it's like um, if you recently adopted a child or you're becoming a step parent or there's the, the, one of your kids is just stepping out of line right now, you almost feel like you fundamentally need to teach them new values, that you almost have to because this, for me, is the apprentice. It's learning something new and it's getting an offer. But in the reverse position, it's it's denying that. It's not accepting it. So it's telling me these younger fire sign individuals are not accepting your help or they're being extremely difficult. You know, and it's taxing you. It's burdening you. This isn't what actually is. This is what is. But this is just telling me why you're thinking this way. You're thinking about your future, who and what fits in it. And if they're to come into your life, how you can fix this, how you can manage and heal this. That's why the following card is healing. How to heal this family rift or how to heal this relationship rift. Even if this is going on at work, how do you heal this rift? Why is the four swords here? Please clarify the four swords. Two of swords in reverse. Okay, so this is you being confused and not knowing what choice to make between two situations. But in the reverse, it's telling me quite the opposite. You know what you need to do. You know something needs to get sliced out. And you need to because you're, 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 you need to heal. That you know that the only way you're going to heal is by cutting out some of this negative energy that's going into your life or this extra burden that you have or this extra responsibility something needs to get sliced out or cut out because it's not sustainable and and you're going to do that at the end of March looking into going into April you're definitely trying to manifest that's why you have the magician here in the manifest you're trying to make it all work you're trying to make it all cohesive but you know you're starting to realize at the end of the month something's got to give literally something's got to give why is the King of Wands here? Position. King of Wands, King of Wands, please clarify King of Wands. Okay. So in the outcome or, you know, the end of March going into April, which will be Aries season, literally, you know, fire sign season, you have the Seven of Coins. So you're allowing yourself to invest in this individual. This is the card of investment and seeing the harvest come in. So you're being patient. You are waiting. You are taking the responsibility. You are taking the burden of this relationship or this, you know, fire sign individual. And you are going to invest in this person and you're waiting for the harvest to come through. You're, you're hoping that whatever that you've done with this person, it will work itself out. And this is more or less why in the card above it, let me just show you. Burdens, exhaustion, and this person more or less might be bringing this on to you. Archangel Michael stepping in to help relieve you. This is you reaping the rewards of, you know, accepting all these burdens that have come upon you. And this is more or less, and above that, which was the burdens, why you needed to, you know, uh, use your intuition and heal because you have put so much on to yourself. You know, maybe you're somebody where you recently got in a relationship, and this is just an example, and they moved from California to New York to live with you, that you've got to take on the financial burden temporarily until they get onto their feet. Vice versa also, because these energies are vice versa. I, I attach myself to an energy, and that's what I read. So it's either you or the person you're dealing with. But more or less, Aquarius, I think this is you. Fire sign, if you are cross-watching this, you get it. You get it. But overall, you are trying to manifest, you know, 
the, the perfect dynamic and you're, you are investing in this relationship and this situation to make it work. Now, let me just pull uh, some cards from Angel Answers to see what we got going on for you guys. One last shuffle. Any other messages for my Aquarians? Any other messages? Any other messages? No. So, helpful people. I know you guys like to take these things on, the burdens on by yourself. That's why you normally get overwhelmed or overexhausted or you take on too much. But there are helpful people for you. You have so many friends, Aquarius, that you can go and chit-chat with or talk to. No shame or shade if you need to speak to a therapist. No shame or shade if you need to talk to a tarot reader. <laughs> but in other words... You need to, to go talk to helpful people to offload this burden, to help yourself heal from all this shit that's on your plate, you know? You've extended yourself far too thin, and now you need to offload some of this. You know, whether it's a brother, sister, mother, father, best friend, group of friends, or, you know, the person that you're in the relationship with, there are helpful people in whatever regard this is. Okay, Aquarius, please come back for mid-month so we can see how this pans out. Please listen to your moon and your rising because you're not just an Aquarius in your natal chart makeup. It will help clarify or complement this reading. But you're going to let me know below, right? Like, subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye.